This video is how to change the ink chip board on a UV 2400. The first step you want to do is you want to make sure the printer is powered off. You want to make sure you have the power cord unplugged. You also want to make sure that you have the USB cord unplugged as well. Of course, the next step, what you're going to do is you're going to need to remove the cover of your printer. So you want to uh, place your ink tray down on the side so you can remove the cover. And then you're going to have to remove, there's two Phillips screws on the left and the right side of the printer that you're going to have to remove. And you're going to have to flip the front half of the cover up and lift the cover straight up. Once you have the cover off, then we can see we have our ink chip board on top, the heat sink of the main logic board. And you can see there's a flex cable, cable number 10, that plugs into the main logic. First step, what we're going to do is we're going to remove that flex cable. So we're just going to hold down the ink chip board and just pull straight up on the flex cable. Now that we have our flex cable removed, we're going to remove the two Phillips screws that hold the ink chip board in place. So we're going to remove this one right here. Okay, remove that screw. What we're going to do is remove the second screw. You see? Alright. Remove the old ink chip board. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the new ink chip board. We're going to match it up to the holes right here. The holes on the ink chip board right there. Take the felt screw, get one started. Oops. Drop that screw right there. Get started right here. Okay. Start the second one. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to gently tighten down. Phillips screws. Yeah. Now that you have the Phillips screws tightened down, you're going to take the flex cable and you just want to make sure that you have the silver pins facing the gold connector pins on the ink chip board. So you're going to place it like that, place it inside the connector, push straight down. Just make sure that you have all the pins fully seated. Okay, and you have your new ink chip board installed. Next step is to plug everything back in, uh, power it up, uh, check the status model to see if you have the ready to print status.